currently sit top of the league. Mystery, mystery, mystery. We're doing this again, this time in Europe, because you all hit 5,000 likes on the last UK version of this. So this time, we're off to Europe. The way this works is very simple. I've ordered two mystery boxes, one for me, one for Ben. We're then going to open that box and reveal a random team from any league in Europe. We're then going to rush to Stansted, jump on the first plane we see, and go and become diehard fans of that club. Simple, lovely, Let's unbox those boxes. Hello. Right, we're going to open these very quickly and see where we're off to. So let's do it. I gave them the instructions that it has to be a team in Europe, not in England. It can be any team in Europe and it has to be the same shirt for both of us. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh. 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 We're off to watch a team. Let's get to the airport. It's early. We're about to board our flight. Once again, a huge thanks to Amada for making the mental trips and experience we've had this season possible. A huge thanks to them for making this possible and allowing us to book flights last minute. To just be like, oh, we're going here, by the way. And they're like, yeah, go on, lads. And thanks to them, we're doing a mystery football shirt video this week. And they're giving away one of you a mystery football shirt as well. Just for playing in the Away Days Amada squad. We're going to make at least one prediction this week and you can win a football shirt, completely mystery, sent out to you as well. So Amada is the completely free to play sports prediction app. In each everyday new fixtures are added to the app. And the person who wins each week is the person who accumulates the most coins. Speaking of accumulating coins, we're going to make our predictions when we get to the game tomorrow, aren't we? We're going to get involved with Amada. I'm going to try and beat Ben this weekend. And the person who doesn't win buys the other one. There's the door shutting. Let's get on this plane. It's, oh, this has been a weird few days, hasn't it? We've arrived in the destination of Jurat. Ben wants to tour the city. I want to drink. Away Days explores X City while drinking. You know what? Let's just go home. What is this? Cheers, Ben, to insert country name. Cheers. We've deliberately came to an estate. We haven't deliberately came here. Everywhere else was busy. Is this song about Hakimi, the player? Hakimi, Hakimi. Go then. Oh, that's funky. Oh, no one alone. <laughs> All right, you lad. <laughs> this is going to give away where we are, but this is one of the most famous pieces of historic landmarks in history. And across from it, there's a bear. <laughs> I feel like sort of taken away from the historical significance. Euro 2020, what was the result there, eh, Germany? Oh, one nil. It fills me with immeasurable rage when I watch another YouTuber's video and they're moaning about the state of their hotel room. This is like the Ritz to us. Should we get out? <laughs> God, that's terrifying. The specking instead of the shining. Here's Johnny. Ben said, if you've come all this way to look at that wall, you've been disappointed. The wall isn't there anymore. That's the, that's the, that's the significance. The best thing that could possibly happen with two Brits after a drink. There's a football pitch. First time then. First time. You ready? Oh! Have it. That's the first shot I had. First one. We're at an authentic German restaurant. Lots of beer. Pretty much every German beak. One and tap. Lots of hard alcohol. What's yours called? Summer Funky or something. Yep, yeah, enough <laughs> Summer Funky. And I've got a blue lagoon. Oh, hang on a minute. My Guinness is a weird colour. <laughs> That's just a delayed reaction. To Berlin. Oh no, shock oh shit. To run, to insert country slash place name, even though we've definitely revealed it. See you tomorrow for football. Tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why. Time to reveal where we're off to. Ben Gibbs, reveal yourself. Hey, Union Berlin. Um, you can see the proof of us getting them in the boxes overlaid on screen. I'm just happy when I said reveal yourself, you came out fully clothed. <laughs> we're at the stadium, five hours early. What do we do now? Let's go find somewhere to drink. I've sounded like an alcoholic this episode. <laughs> Enough of screens match day, like some swinging chairs and some cake. This is your first drink of the day. When I say first drink of the day, I mean is in literally the first thing you've drank today. <laughs> We've got some facts about Union. Founded in 1966, but they were originally a club before then, but they came Union in 1966. Stadium capacity is 22,000. 
which is why tickets are so hard to get. They've never won a German championship. Their fans are incredibly passionate. And did you know, in all competitions currently, including friendlies and everything, they've won 10 in a row. And they could go top of the Bundesliga today. We've come to the club shop, we're getting hats. We'll show them when we get outside, but we thought they'd do gloves, but they don't. I mean, we'll just buy gloves from somewhere else. We've been told um, Uni and Berlin fans are like very against tourist fans, which is fair enough, you know, because tickets are very hard to get and they were very expensive and difficult to get as well. I don't think we stand out, do we? This is what the ultras wear. <laughs> we're inside, I've got this, which was three euros 50, looks incredible. Ben's got his Bratwurst, which is the, three euros uh, 50 as well. The roll to sausage ratio isn't brilliant. That's what, this, that's what it is though. Can't give yours a go. Bro. You're not getting any sauce on there? No, have you put any sauce on yours? No. Like it or not? It's all right. It's a sausage, aren't it? I feel like we are very not welcome here, which is fair enough. That's their culture. The thing is, the perception is we're here because they're going to go top. We're here because the Mystery Box centers it. You know what I mean? I just get vibes we're not wanted, which is fair enough because we're not. These are really good. Mm. One pet peeve I have of German football culture is British people seem to think it's really cheap, and it's not. Their club shops are really expensive. Their food and drink isn't that much cheaper than other places in Europe. It's still amazing, the fans are great and they're really passionate, but just, I think it's a bit of a misconception. Cheers to the best football channel on the internet. To you, Fogden. <laughs> to Fogden. <laughs> There's an hour till kickoff, and it's this full. Ignore the VIP sector, but this, where all the real fans are, full. And you. Good boys. Oh, maybe. But if they didn't know your English, they do now. been the mascot. Phenomenal performance. Trust me, I'd know. From a fellow mascot to another. Well done, son. Worst high five attempt anyone has ever had. And the mascot's buzzing. He's hoping the crowd up. Go on. Union currently sit top of the league. Lovely. Union! Onion! Onion! The fans have been really good. They, they, like, they do the same chance for a while, but I think it's a proper football experience. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, you That's know. the beauty of these new history videos we're doing. We have no idea where we're going. And we sort of throw ourselves into experiences now. But I think it's great. I've really enjoyed I've it. I've got a feeling we're going to see lots more goals in the second half. I hope. I'm not deliberately not recording anything, just sum up this, there's nothing happening, there's nothing happening at it. Don't know if I've asked you to sum it up, I've summed it up before, you could sum it up. Go on, sum it up Ben, nothing's happened. Do you reckon that sticker's positive or not? What is it with ultras as well? Happen to have like a skull and bone. Oh no, VAR is checking a penalty for Mainz here. Oh dear, these Union fans already despise VAR. He's gonna miss. Oh. 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 Yeah! And yeah! He's left me hanging. <laughs> Once again, English sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah! High five! There we go. Top of the league. In more mascots.
mascot news, the mascot has just been given a player's shirt and tucked it into his top. If I knew the pay for being a mascot was a match one shirt each game, I'd, I'd quit this and do that instantly. Here we go, this is going to be special, this is. He's just found out Liverpool are 3-0 down and is absolutely crumbling. <laughs> Neon, it's Uni Uni on. They get the ball, they score a goal, it's Uni Uni on. <laughs> ben wants to do a dive and header before we go and get our flight home, so we're gonna give him a <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Hello, I am home from Berlin. Interesting weekend, I really enjoyed it. I would never have went to an Uni on Berlin match, ever and it was incredible. Also, as I said at the start of the video, we did do our Omada predictions. I wanted to wait till now so you guys could see what the recap looked like each week. Here was our predictions. It, it didn't go too well. I thought, I don't know nothing about rugby. We lost to Liverpool. We backed Liverpool because Ben's a Liverpool fan. We got Newcastle to draw. That was, that was probably our best prediction of the week. So I'm not finishing high up in the away day squad this week. Get involved with the away day squad in Omada at the top of the description. One of you each week now going forward, just for playing in the league, will win a random football shirt. So get involved, it's free to do. Union Berlin fans are fantastic. I felt almost imposter syndrome, like we shouldn't have been there because we shouldn't, right? And it's always been my stance to not do stuff like that. I just couldn't dictate where the mystery box was from. From a, a New York Berlin's fans' perspective, they're thinking we're there just a bandwagon because they're about to go top of the league. But we weren't. I would have went to any club in Europe if that makes sense. So I had a great time. The atmosphere was great. Got to see them win. Got to see them go top of the Bundesliga, if only for 24 hours. Like it was a crazy experience and one that I'm just so grateful that we're in the position to do. You sort of take a step back and you realize how mental it is what you're doing is um, that it's like. Wow. If we have 5,000 likes, we'll do the Data a Map Europe edition. Be sure to smash it, and we'll see you very soon for more away days and more football shirt content. Ciao, ciao. Bye.